Water is central to our everyday lives. We need it to live. We need it to drink, cook, and clean. We need it for fire protection and sanitation. Clean, reliable water is vital to the country's health, safety, economic development, and overall quality of life. Yet few other industries faced with such an immense responsibility remain so largely invisible. And the water that's continually delivered to homes and businesses undergoes a complex journey from source to tap. When most people think about water, they think, I turn the water on and it comes out and I can drink it. But there's a lot more to it. It takes a lot of work, effort, time, money, and resources to get that water from our source water to the tap in your home. If there's anything that uh, I think I'd want our customers to know is that it takes a lot to make sure that the water's safe. It takes a lot to make sure that our water is clean and it takes a lot to make sure that the infrastructure is in place to get it to you. First water systems were put in place for fire protection and that has been the number one job of a water utility uh, since the first utility. So fire protection is uh, absolutely essential, followed by sanitation and um, drinking water. Water doesn't recognize jurisdictional boundaries. That's why we operate with the watershed in mind. We're also seeking to get the best value for our customers, and that is best achieved in working in cooperation with our regional partners. We have some of what I would call formal regional agreements, and we also have some formal contracts. For instance, uh, we contract to get our water from Fairfax Water and from the city of Manassas. Fairfax Water serves a total of about a million and a half people in Northern Virginia. And about our 800,000 of those we serve as retail customers, and that translates to about 234,000 accounts. The remainder we serve as wholesale uh, through six major wholesalers. Uh, we have Prince William Earth Authority, uh, Loudon Water, City of Alexandria, Town of Herndon, Dulles Airport, and Fort Belvoir. The Service Authority is a standalone entity, so we're completely separate from the county. Uh, the authority does not receive tax revenues from the county, and the county does not receive any of the water or sewer revenues collected by the authority. The authority sets user rates based on the cost of actually providing that service. With a utility as big as we are and that serves as many people as we do, the people are the most important asset we have. And as regulations increase and technology becomes more complex, it's necessary that our folks are very well trained so that they can provide the most efficient and effective service to our customers. Our laboratory at Fairfax Water has around 20 employees. Sometimes we ramp up to 25 in the summertime because of some seasonal differences. The most common responsibility of our water quality laboratory is to assure the public that the water that they're receiving is an excellent quality water and to be assured that we meet um, all federal regulations, all state regulations, we exceed those consistently. We have two large, very large plants with a lot of very complex equipment, with hundreds of chemical metering pumps and the instrumentation so we can control all of the chemical addition, the flocculators, uh, filters, and so forth. I'm very proud of the staff that we have here at the treatment plants. They work very hard, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. To run each plant, it requires 13 operators to staff the facilities around the clock. It also requires a variety of different maintenance personnel, including maintenance mechanics. We have 10 mechanics at each plant, electricians and instrumentation folks, about 11 per plant. And it's important to note that those folks also maintain things out in our distribution system, which includes some large pumping stations and elevated storage tanks. We provide drinking water to over a quarter million people on a daily basis. Uh, fortunately, I'm not alone. I've got a team of engineers, scientists, public health officials, operators, mechanics, uh, and, and a slew of other colleagues that uh, help make that happen. The Operations and Maintenance Division is responsible for maintaining the, the water distribution system. We maintain over 1,100 miles of water mains, 22 water towers, 13 water pumping stations, over 10,000 fire hydrants, over 15,000 valves. The Finance Division, which includes the Accounting Department, Customer Service, and Field Service Departments, are responsible for the 81,000 meters that are in the ground. 
So our field service technicians are responsible to read those meters monthly, maintain them, and exchange them when they're at the end of their useful life. We also have field service technicians out in the field to assist customers with new service as well as to troubleshoot potential issues. The goal of the Authority's Customer Service Department is to provide excellent customer service and part of that is being proactive in communicating with our customers looking for potential issues such as uh, leaks that customers might have that they don't know about. Fairfax Water utilizes two sources um, to provide drinking water for our customers. We have the Potomac River, which provides water to our Corbulus plant here in Herndon, Virginia. And we also utilize the Aquan Reservoir down south for our Griffith plant. Currently, we have the capacity to produce 345 million gallons per day between the two plants. Our average last year was 167 million gallons per day. Many uh, consumers do not realize that we offer both groundwater and surface water. The reason that we have groundwater is we do have some remote areas where it has not been feasible to, to run uh, and connect to the large municipal systems. And our surface water comes from the Potomac River, the Occoquan Reservoir, and Lake Manassas. Uh, quantities pretty much in that order. Source water protection is a huge issue. It has been an issue for about the last 30 some years in the Occoquan and uh, the state established a policy, the Occoquan policy, to help improve source water protection there. And on the Potomac, it has been an issue for many years. Uh, the region has established uh, a partnership, a group of state, uh, local, governmental officials and water utility officials uh, in the Potomac watershed to enhance protection of source water. Fairfax Water tests its water, both the source water and the finished water, continuously. The raw water is sometimes called our source water, and in the source water we're looking for trends of the different constituents that we might analyze for. Um, when this water comes into the plant uh, to be treated, we need to know what type of water quality it has so that we know what type of treatment, what level of treatment needs to be done for, for that water to get it to the drinking water quality. Fairfax Water has uh, hundreds of test points in the treatment plant itself that we analyze samples from. Uh, we have everything from online monitors, which is a real-time monitoring system, all the way to every two hours sampling and analysis to once a day. The water quality testing beyond the water treatment plant really involves analyses at the bulk storage tanks, the distribution system, and then beyond the service meter in the customer connection. Between a deep, still lake or a rolling river and the faucets flowing safe, clean water inside homes throughout the community lies thousands of miles of infrastructure cared for and operated by hundreds of highly skilled men and women. They work to provide the well-being of the customers they serve and help provide the daily conveniences that make life easier, healthier, better.